He is the owner of Sunda Restaurant. He is the owner of Rocket, which we've been to about a thousand times. You can see him on Windy City Live on ABC7. And now he's going to be doing something that Scott's will hate him for for Uh-oh. many, many years. Uh-oh. He'll be hosting a national food and travel TV show on the FYI Network. It is Billy Deck. Go ahead. You can yell at him right now. Billy? I can take it. I can take it. I'm sitting down. Congratulations on the gig, but I could do a better job than you. <laughs> well, duh. But see, you already have a great gig. Well, see, This I- is for people like me who are just searching, like, soullessly around Chicago <laughs> looking for, you know, a new thing. Listen, you, you are a, a restaurateur. You are an incredible businessman. But the only reason you got this gig is because you can pull off the hat look. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That was actually, I was actually in the waiting room at the audition. It was all dudes with hats. I was like, I got these guys. I got them. <laughs> I got them. I got these guys. Absolutely. <laughs> well, Billy, what is, this, what is this show? This is a national show now. Yeah, you know what I like about it is, you know, every week on your show or on Winnie City Live or whatever I'm trying to do, I like to talk about all the nooks and crannies of the city, events, fundraisers, things that locals know. And so when I go to other cities, I'm always wondering what locals are into. And so this is all about just talking to locals and uh, social media, really figuring out where to explore based on what people who live there think instead of what the guidebooks tell you. Right. And so it's cool. It's, it's, I ended up in some really amazing places and then some that were not so amazing. <laughs> it, was, it, was really, it was really interesting, but that's the best way to figure out how to explore a city and learn about people's culture and the personality and the characteristics of the people of those that live in these different parts of the country. And so I really enjoyed it. And I've never been to, for, the, for instance, Portland, Maine. I mean, but which, by the way, I almost went to the wrong Portland. <laughs> I got them. Oh, no. Oh, like, oh, boy. Yeah, I booked the, originally booked the wrong Portland. That would have been a really bad start to the show. But, yeah, it's cool. I mean, I, I did, you know do well as far as the quantity of eating. I have had a lot of practice here in Chicago, so I was right for the job. But the quality was really awesome. So I you, really was psyched. So you just fly to a city, you talk to some locals, and you go out eating and drinking. Yeah, well, and you go from one place to the next, not having any idea of where you'll end up. Which is the cool part. God, I mean, that's great. You, I love yeah, so, stuff like that. I love going to a city, you meet a friend, or you meet somebody that knows someone that takes you around. I love that. Yeah. I mean, we're really good at we're really good at that in Chicago. I feel like because we're so hospitable and we're always showing people around. But when I go to other cities, sometimes I just feel kind of lost. And this was just a kind of a nod to social media and 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 the, a new way in which we can connect with people, meet, and get their opinions on where to explore their life in their city. Well, yeah, that Billy, was pretty cool. I, I got to tell you, and and I really mean this. Um, you and on two occasions that I, that I want to alert you to. One of them I, I know you're aware of. You on social media, uh, you're incredible. Um, two weeks ago, I went to Rocket, and Pete and I were tweeting you, harassing, watch out, alert the staff, <laughs> and, and that I was coming to Rocket to enjoy my Friday night. I walk in the front door. Your manager walks up to me, and he goes, Scott? And I go, yeah. He goes, I saw the tweets today. Let me get you a drink. And that that honestly goes a million miles further than having just someone be polite to me while serving me a drink or my meal. That made me feel like a king. And that's what your job is to do, is to find people to get them back into your restaurant and make them feel as if it's theirs. Make them feel they're a part of it. And you did it nonstop a year ago. My cousins you, came in you know, from... Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know... I'd love to take credit for that, but there's actually a picture of you in the back uh, employee area. <laughs> if you ever see this guy, <laughs> just keep your eyes on him. Be so that, nice to him because he's dangerous. Yeah. Yes. No, you know what? I listen. I started in Chicago. The reason, one of the reasons why I love love Chicago is I started in this business a long time ago with no money, and all I had was the ability to try to make people happy with the position that I that I had in the restaurant, whether I was. Bouncer at a nightclub or a waiter or a host, all I could do is try to remember people's names and try to try to make them feel special. And that's how Chicago embraced and allowed me to grow. And it's in the DNA of obviously me, but really the extensions of me throughout the whole company. I hope we try and we work on it all the time. And it's part of our culture. And really that social media is an extension of just the handshake and the communication and the connecting. 
And that's something that I've always loved doing is connecting people. So hopefully it's not about me at all. You actually will remember that manager and he'll remember you. And, you you know, you guys have now a new relationship, a new contact. Well, it, and um, I think that's really cool for the fabric of our city and, and what makes us so great. And you're not doing it because sometimes I feel, or maybe it's just in my head, I'm like, oh, maybe because Pete and I are on the radio, you might do that, so we talk about you. My cousins were in town from Michigan, and they said <laughs> and they said to me, we want to go watch the, the game tomorrow, but I don't know where to go. And I said, hey, you guys should go to Rocket. It's a, a great vibe, great feeling. I said, tweet Billy Deck on Twitter. And see if he responds. You can mention my name or not, but see if he responds. And you reply to them and said, hey, come on by. We got a seat for you. And when my cousin showed up the next day without me, the manager saw your tweets and got them their first drink. Like, you are doing incredible things to make people feel special. (laughs) Well, listen, I... I don't, you know, it's funny, um, social media day was yesterday, and, and there's a lot of people speaking about social media and what's new, and, and a lot of things are always changing. Um, different apps, different things, people are like, Periscope's big, and this is big, and that's big. I really spend my time just trying to teach people in our community, in our group, in our company, that it's about relationships, and it's about people. And that's where I spend most of my time. So that whole thing that you described is is really cool and special, but it actually takes a lot of work because you're you're really trying to train new people as to how to connect all those dots simultaneously, instantaneously, organically, and um, and once they do that, you know, you probably got a guy that's really into it because um, it's not always that easy. But if they truly believe in in, in those core, you know amazing things of, of just connectivity and being nice to people, then it works. Yeah, I guess it works. So great. That's awesome to hear. So Good it works. We're talking, yeah. we're talking with uh, Billy Deck, and uh, you've been in the business for many, many years, as you mentioned, restaurants, bars. I yeah. read years ago, the number one reason that people return to restaurant in bars is not because of the food, not because of the service. It's because of recognition. They love hearing their own name. Yes, they love to be remembered and feel like they're important. Um, I have this little, I shouldn't tell my secrets. So I, I always, <laughs> I, I, I always, um, you know, it's, it's interesting. Rocket, for instance, just had its 11th birthday this week. Think about that. Um, that 99% of restaurants, bars, restaurants and bars go out of business um, before that. 10th anniversary, 80% to 90% go out in the first year or two. Right. So um, one of the things that Rocket has always done really well is just be a uh, Midwest hospitality-driven sort of home to locals so that we try to if you treat you as a friend and, and, and a relative when you walk into the house. And I really think, as much as I love burgers and truck fries and all that stuff, that's, to your point, really super key. Um, and we're not always the best at it. I mean, we, we just try. And, and sometimes these managers and, and employees, I mean, think we have 650 employees and, you know, thousands have probably come through our doors over the last 11 years. They are come from all these different restaurants, so they think we're kind of in different states sometimes and sometimes don't really understand why we preach that so hard um, and think we're a little crazy because it's all about people, the guests, and the relationships more than the food and the drink. But you're right, man. You're, you're totally right. I mean, people are, can get that food and, and, and beverage much cheaper on their couch. They're doing it for human interaction and right. social exchange. Yeah. So Especially you, in Chicago. A lot you, of people live here just because they really care about relationships and human connectivity. You've got this new show that, that I would do a better job at than yes. you, but where can we see it and when? Yeah, so the you know, A and E network has this new uh channel, new network, FYI, and there's a bunch of new shows on there and this will be July ninth. Um I'm doing the today show in the morning and then this is uh, you know, next Thursday and then that day in New York going to a little premiere thing and it airs at nine thirty Central Standard Time on FYI network. It's called Big Night Out. I'm gonna be live tweeting. I imagine we get a lot of tweets after this 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 radio call, I feel like you guys pumped it up so hard. I'm going to get all these requests for basketball games. Well, I love the Red Bulls. <laughs> I love that uh, he, uh, you know, mentions uh, I got this premiere of this new show, but I'm going to be on the Today Show that morning. How are 
are you always on the Today Show? How does that work? Uh, you know, I have no idea. This is, um, and I, I, a lot of people are really asking me the same question, because, like, how the hell are you on there cooking? Are you, you're not a cook. You're not a chef. Um, I, listen, I have been in the food business forever. I love feeding people. I love feeding myself. I love feeding people, obviously. Or else I would not be so into this business. Um, but I love to cook at home. And, you know, I basically had, a, uh, you know, you and I have done some TV stuff for quite a while, and you, you have the ability to create a reel. And these days it's really weird. Um, these producers across the country are looking for not the best cook, I hate to say it, but they're looking for people that are really passionate about being on air that have a real, meaning they have experience, and they have um, a social media following, meaning they really care about being connected to a lot of people. That's you. That's you, too. You're passionate about food. I want to knock that hat off your head. (laughs) Uh, So so I had an opportunity. One of our burgers that we have, which is the deep-fried mac and cheese burger, you guys have seen it with the mac and cheese patties that get deep-fried. Oh, yeah. my gosh. And it's on each side of a burger. And that, that really went viral like last two, three years ago. And it was across the country. Everyone was talking about it. And then it was a, it was a request that, you know, these stations made, like, get on the show, make it. And so I just had to jump into the fire, started making these deep-fried mac and cheese burgers. And the Today Show and Good Morning America were like, dude, you come back. This is your, your – because I was used to when you say live, four, four camera live show. I just, you know, wasn't um, – I was just pretty comfortable. And – not as comfortable as you can be when, like, five million people are, you know, and Al Roker and, like, Matt Lauer are poking at your food and all that stuff. Right. And, um, you know, I I just started getting asked back, and I was, you know, super appreciative. And I think they're used to, like, some, you know, I, I don't know. I, I'm just uh, a really kind Chicago Midwesterner with, a, you know, a good team player, and I kind of help and do my best when I'm there and I enjoy it and I think they enjoy someone who's appreciative and like to come back and I like to come back. I, th- I think it's so great. July 9th. So July and, uh, 9th on the Today Show and then Big Night Out July 9th yeah. that night mm-hmm. on the FYI Network. Yes, sir. Awesome. I hope you guys can watch and, uh, you know, it, this will be a great runway for you, Scott, for, for the real big, big night out. Like, don't don't oh, sass big, big me right out. now, Billy. Don't That's sass me. You. And let, <laughs> let me uh, apologize publicly to uh, Billy Deck. I will stop texting you at 1130 at night because I didn't know you go to bed early on Saturday nights now. <laughs> don't tell anyone my secret. <laughs> Sent him a text last Saturday. I'm like, hey, where are you? And like, Are you out? I'm, uh, I'm I, with my brothers. Let's hang out. He's like, I'm I going hurt to bed. Myself, honestly, I hurt myself from that Blackhawks you know, Stanley Cup week of, you know, coming to Rocket and Underground. Underground was like three nights in a row, and I hurt myself. I'm not, I'm not 21, apparently, anymore. Mm-hmm. So of, I, can't, I can't wake up and bounce back. One of your waitresses you went out uh, with the, the team when they were touring the night after the win with the Stanley Cup, and that was uh, with the, the waitress that I had, and she's a rock star. I forget her name, but she was incredible, so she deserves a raise. Okay. So. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> you can check. And, and interesting that she gets paid with tips, so that would be really in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> the non-tipper. Hey. Owner of Sunda Restaurant, of course, Rocket, and you can see him on Windy City Live, and then Big Night Out, July 9th on the FYI Network, and make sure you tune in to the Today Show. It is Billy Deck. Billy, great to talk to you. Hopefully we'll Thank see you, you soon, man. Thank you all. Thanks so much. All right, take see it easy. Soon. Bye.